I try to look at the total woman, the, the whole woman, and I, I do see different age groups, and which is really nice. Uh, and I feel like I, uh, each each one has their own, uh, you know, problems. We we love to see the well women, but if they do have a problem at any at any age, then uh, that's that's where we can help them so much. And uh, whether it be uh, hormonal or just preventive care, or if if uh, God forbid they need surgery, we we know. What, what is needed for them. And uh, I think that they appreciate that with the women's clinic. I think all of our doctors are, are equally passionate about that. Because of my age, I've grown a little bit older over the last 25 years of practice. And uh, I do see a lot of menopausal women. And so I have, have sort of gotten a uh, ability to, to work with them and their problems. Um, that's just one of my interests. I, I also like the, the surgery and, and the, the hormonal therapies and the medicines that we do for all ages. A big concern for women is hormonal uh, replacement therapy and there have been some big studies in the last um, 10 years and, and they were including 20,000 women so they're really good studies. Uh, and at first people were really scared and were afraid to take any hormones but now we know that we can give uh, ladies that are very symptomatic uh, the hormonal therapy for a, a certain amount of time, not forever like we used to do. Um, and there are some people that don't need it and others that do. Uh, we do worry about uh, osteoporosis and that's a big um, new field that we're really interested in. Uh, so we have to think of that as well as the whole woman. When I come to work every day, um, I always look forward to seeing every every uh, female that I meet, whether they be a new patient or not, and to do my very best to, to help them in whatever way I can. And I think that's really important to each patient.